NASA is trying to solve a potentially serious problem on the International Space Station. One of the station's two cooling pumps is not working properly. NASA says the six crew members are not in danger, but they have powered down some equipment as a precaution. Elaine Cajano is here. Elaine, good morning. Good morning to you, Nora and Charlie. Engineers hope a software fix will solve the issue, but if that doesn't work, the astronauts may have to venture outside. For now, they're continuing with daily operations, while experts on the ground try to figure out what to do next. More than 200 miles above the Earth, the crew aboard the International Space Station is waiting to find out if it'll have to conduct an emergency spacewalk. Wednesday, one of two exterior cooling pumps briefly shut down after detecting abnormal temperatures. It's a serious issue. Uh, the space station has two coolant loops to get rid of all the heats generated by the electronics on the station. If they don't dissipate that heat, then critical systems can, can literally shut down. Six astronauts are on board, including two Americans. And we had liftoff. One of whom arrived just last month. In a statement, NASA said at no time was the crew or the station itself in any danger. Some non-critical systems have been powered down. Engineers are now evaluating whether the problem is software related or a hardware issue, which could require a spacewalk to install a replacement pump. They have three spares on board. If they had to do a spacewalk, they could swap these units out. But that's a big deal. Because spacewalks can be risky. Back in July, an Italian astronaut's helmet suddenly started to fill up with water. I feel a lot of water on the back of my head. It's still unclear whether this mission will require a spacewalk. But until NASA solves the problem, the space station will remain at least partially out of commission. They've had to shut down a lot of their science gear, some of their non-essential equipment. And again, that's not what you want to do if you're up there to do science. You want to have all this stuff running and they want to get this fixed. The cooling pump in question was actually installed in 2010 after an earlier failure. That time, crews had to conduct three spacewalks to get things right. Scary, Elaine, thank you.